YouTube, what up, man? Your boy AD, I'm back again with another video, man. And this time we got another quick build for y'all, man. <clears throat> it's a power forward. But the irony of this one, it's a 6'6 power forward, man. It's a little different. Undersized, yeah, of course. But there's reasons behind everything. And I'm going to show you two different ways, whether it's a 6'6 six, six or a 6'7, of how to go about doing this particular build. And it's a two-way board hunting stretch. So if y'all want to get into this video, let's go ahead into it. Hit the like button. Follow us on kick.com slash adion and don't miss out any live streams every single day in the mornings until about 4.45 Eastern time p.m. Let's get to the bill, baby. So the first things first, name, number, whatever. You already know what it is. Like I said, power four, 6'6", 261 pounds with a max wingspan of 7'2". So this is just a 6'6 version of how I have it so far. And I'm going to show you other ways to kind of go about this. The reason we did it this way is to ensure if y'all see where the defensive rebound is changing, this ensures that we get gold rebound chaser. We're also going to have gold box out beast. And also with the strength that we have on this build, we're going to be able to get a movable enforcer on Hall of Fame. If you want to use that max plus one, you can always toss that on there to get legend. We also get limitless range at bronze on this build. You'll still be able to get driving dunks. You get rise up. You have poke control. You have, you're able to get a pass accuracy of 75. You'll be able to get block. You have interiors to get post lock down at silver. And you'll also be able to have some perimeter and you can get gold interceptor on this build. And if you want to use that max plus one, you can toss that on for Hall of Fame interceptor if you'd like to do that. So let's get to it. Standing dunk is going to be a 72. This gets you the bronze rise up once we toss on that vertical, which you're going to see why I have it the way that I have it. And dunking in 65 gets your athletic hangs off one, so it's a little bit quicker. The dunk animations are a lot better with this build in particular, which is always good to have. The reason I said post control was going to be on this build is because 75 gets you unpluckable at bronze. I go 76, which will be able to give us, I believe, post up. You're going to have post powerhouse in silver. You're going to have post fade phenom in silver as well. Now, mid range is only a 73, but you still get dead eye at bronze. So that's always good. You're already going to have your bronze set shot specialist as of right now. And like I said, post fade phenom is at silver. And then with the limitless range being an 83, set shot specialist is now at a silver, which you get at a 78 for either three or midi. So you'll be able to still knock down your shots. You can use, to me, I use plus ones for certain things. Like if it's really something I'm going to use a lot since I'm sitting corners a lot of the time and I'm not doing all that dribbling or if I'm popping out to a hash, I can put set shot special up to gold if I want to do that on plus one and do it that way. If you're not really worried about your three ball and you want to toss this up, just so you see the differences, you get an 85 where you get silver dead eye. That's the only thing extra you're getting out of this, unless you end up tossing up your agility and you end up with shifty shooter. I believe you get shifty shooter silver at an 87. It may be an 89. I have to check that here in a second, but that's how we're going to build this one out. And then free throw, we're going to toss this up to a 75. Pass act, like I said, you're going to get a 75 pass act, which gives you silver break starter. Again, not the greatest, but you're not really tossing breaks like that unless you absolutely have to. And this will at least get you towards that free throw line. And sometimes you can actually toss the full length of the court. It really just depends on how the game wants to treat you at that time. Speed with balls at 71. So you get lightning launch at bronze. I've been able to get around people. I've been able to have a, a quick step on people here and there. So that's always good. And like I said, interior defense, you're going to get to an 82, which will allow you to get post lockdown at silver once we adjust it. The biggest thing with this build, because it's it's a shorter build, paint patroller only goes up to a bronze. So my thought with this build of how I'm going to do it is one of my plus ones I'm going to toss on paint patroller. And if I can toss it onto something else defensively, like a on the second one, if I can toss it on interceptor, I can toss it on interceptor, make that Hall of Fame for one to toss that on set shot specialist or limitless range i can do that if i want to toss this on like rise up or something like that i can do that there's different ways of how i can go about working with this build so i, I like the the capabilities that it can do perimeter defense is going to be a 90 and what i did with the uh cat breakers was i tossed cat breakers here to get this to a 92 uh, I got a speed that's going to go up to an 89, which is the plus three. So it's an 89 speed and a 92, which gives you the gold challenger. It's also going to get you gold on ball menace and gold pick dodger. So that's always to me because I have to switch a lot of the times with depending on who I'm running with and stuff like that. It helps me a lot in the long run to be able to stay in front of people and contest shots out on the perimeters too. 
Steel 85, like I said, this is just gonna give us the basic gold interceptor, which is perfectly fine. It's not, you don't need Hall of Fame interceptor. It's great to have, but it's not a necessity. And it plus it saves you a lot of extra points to be able to do what you want with the build and how you want to create it. That's why I did it the way I did it. I'm gonna go with a 78 on block, which will be able to give us high flying denier at silver here when I change that. So I've gotten a lot of chase down so far with the build. Like I said, rebound chase is going to go up to gold with an IM2 defensive rebound, and offensive rebound is going to be an 82. Now, again, you're still looking at like your 6'6, six, six, you're not going to be outboarding people. I got into the wreck solo, solo queue and wrecks, no squads, and I'm outboarding centers getting 20 plus boards in those games. So it's not something that's impossible to do. Hell, we played Proving Grounds yesterday, and I was out snagging our own center and their center. So I can do some work because not just with the speed to be able to get to the ball which is going to be 86. Agility is going to max out 83. Our strength on this build is going to be a 92, which, like I said, we get a movable enforcer, Hall of Fame, which you get that at a 91. I went 92 for other reasons on top of this. You don't have to go 92, but let's say I don't do this, and let's say the next time I go get cat burgers, let's say at the next, the next cat burger availability, if I want to toss plus three on this, I can get a Hall of Fame brick wall if I wanted to do it that way. So there's there's other ways to go about it. If you want to drop this to a 91, you can do that. And then my vertical is an 85 on this build. That's where my vertical is. And let's say if you drop this strength down to a 91, you can pretty much toss this wherever you wanted to. It's not a whole lot of options, unfortunately. If you want to just get it that way, you could, could have done that. You could toss up your rise up some more, which gets you aerial wizard to silver. You can toss up dunk if you wanted to. You can toss up your layup by two. If you want to toss up post control, you can toss up post control. But that, when you do that, you got to keep in mind that it also puts up other abilities as well. So you have to take that in consideration. So I like having the, the strength at a 92. It's a little bit more strength than most of the uh, power forwards and things of that nature that I have to deal with. Because a lot of them are going to have higher strength. They're going to go like an 85 maybe a 91 just to get them that gold brick wall the only time you're really gonna have to really deal with that is because of the big ass centers but you're not dealing with the pick as much you're more so protecting the roll and you're hedging out playing a back end with this build so that's why i like it this way like i said i did a plus three to speed gives you 89 speed and a plus two to perimeter defense on my cat burgers and at the end once you get to level 40 the next plus one what i may do is toss that on perimeter as well or i could toss that onto i don't know it could, it could go to anything i don't i'm not sure what exactly i want to put it on yet but there's a couple of options that i have and that's the best thing with this build like, there's so many options that i could go with it maybe i could toss it on vertical to make my vertical even higher to really snag on people i could just toss it on speed and give it a 90 speed it really depends on how you want to do it, man. And that's the 6-6 six, six version of a two-way board hunting stretch. And if you go 6-7, and let's say we'll go max wingspan, which is still the 7-3. The issue with this is you're not going to get the same type of attributes. So when you go from 6-6 six, six to 6-7, six, your three-pointer drops tremendously. And that's the one thing about it that I'm not really a fan of. So, like, if you go 7-2, you get an 83 three-point on the 6'6", six, six. if you go 6'7", with a 7'2", you're getting an 83 ball. And if you go max swing span, it's a 79. So you gotta pick and choose how you wanna do your battles. Plus on top of that, your agility drops. So if I went up to the same weight that I have on the other one, I have a 79 agility, which isn't good defensively because this is more so for playing defense. If you wanted to get that 83, you're gonna have to go with a 235 pounds. And again, you're still not going to get limitless range unless you drop this down to a seven foot wingspan. And then your defensive rebound isn't as high. So you're not going to get gold defensive rebound. You still get the agility, you get the speed. You get a little bit more block, but you're not going to get anything extra. Only, only way this matters the most is if you go to a seven two or seven three wingspan. Seven two is the better option. It's the same thing I did with the uh, switchable lockdown defender, where if you did it this way, you still do a 90, still 85, and you can go 84 here, which can give you silver paint patroller, and you can still get silver post lockdown. But notice what happens here. Like, everything that I had before, 
it's completely changed. It's not the same anymore. So like driving dunks and close shots and things of that nature, my pass accuracy has dropped down. Everything has changed completely with the build. So it's, if you're going to do it, it's better probably doing the switchable lockdown version, which then you could just get rid of the post control. But you see the strength drops down. If you go to 91 here, you're still only barely going to get your agility that you want. Your midi is still suffering. Three point isn't as high as you would want it to be. This is just getting you to rise up. If you want to drop your driving dunk down, you can, but you can't go but so far. And you see you drop your layup. Everything's connected in certain ways that just doesn't make it as valuable for the build. In my opinion, if you wanted to drop that down, you could try to go with at least an eight, a 78 offensive rebound to get you better animations for rebounding. But again, you, you'll get gold box out beast, but you'll only get silver rebound chaser if you did it this way. And that's if you have the vertical the same. If you drop the vertical down to an 80 because you get a little bit more now, put that on agility. You have an 85 speed now. Again, I don't think it's as valuable this way as the 6.6 six is. I think the 6.6 six six is the better option personally. And it says 6.6 six to 61. 7 to rebuild it back up real quick just so you see what, what the difference is here. You're getting more badges this way to me is the better option. So that's two way board hunting stretch. Sage Andre, Karolinko, Draymond, Terry Eason. It's very Draymond esque. It just has better jumping ability. Like I said, I'm snagging over footers a lot of the time with this build, but it's personal preference. I think if you're going to go 6-6 six, six on a power forward, this is the best way to go about it because of what it's capable of getting. Again, I, I've also been able to use it in theater with a couple of the homies uh, playing as the, the big in this situation. You can play it as a lock because it has a little bit of quickness to it if you needed to do it that way. Not so much a, a legitimate lock, but, you know, can get the job done, get to spots quick enough on defense. That's how I would go about it, but that's just me. Again, I always give you all the base of what a build could do, what it's capable of. You decide what you want to do with it afterwards. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Black Ops 6 is on the way. We got more coming. Kick.com says a Dion for live streams. And if you want to pop on Twitch, I might multi-stream there too. And I'll catch y'all next video, man. Peace.